matches my Honda, same color. Funny, I'll get as, almost as much money for this lawnmower as I, as I paid for that Honda. Next, well, this one, the starter's catching good. So I've got to take off the air cleaner cover, check the air cleaner, check the gas, and drain the bowl of the carburetor since I already know it has good compression and it's not bent. Not bad, but I'll blow it out. Hmm, completely dry. Now to check this. I don't do cocaine. I don't do any drugs. I did try marijuana once. I never will try a hard drug. Just not into that. Plus I'm too cheap. But damn, does that make a good nose picker and ear cleaner. You want to rent it? Oh, that doesn't look good. And this one's sort of obstructing with the block to come off. That one's had water in it. We could have problems. Well, when your bowl is obstructed with the block and just doesn't want to come off easily, you have to loosen these two manifold bolts, then everything moves a bit. Since this had water in it, I better check that the throttle is not stuck. Well, it's a little stiff, but it's not stuck. The throttle shaft often seizes when there's water in them. Now that those are loose, Everything moves enough to get this apart, I hope. Yep, not a problem. Oh my god. Uh, we may have troubles. That is so bad. I don't know if I'll be able to save that carburetor. That's aluminum oxide and zinc oxide formed by corrosion. This has a different style of bowl screw with just the one jet hole you have to clean and then get the crud out of the bottom pocket. When your carburetor is this badly messed up with water, it's a good idea if you're going to try to use it to rapidly shake the bolt, I mean shake the float to listen for splashing or sloshing. Often they corrode right through and are full of water and sometimes the soldering job joint on them from the two halves isn't right. And they've actually got gas in them, so every time you have a lawnmower apart, it's good to shake this and listen for the sloshing of gas. If there's a little bit of gas or water in there, well then when you put your gas back in your lawnmower, your car carburetor just keeps overflowing all the time because this thing will not allow itself to float up when it's got liquid in it. It stays sunk down. Then your carburetor overflows and floods your motor and you lose all your gas all over your deck. So that's a good thing to check. This one sounds dry. Now I've got to take some steel wool and clean all the parts off and then blow it out really good. I always give a carburetor one chance to see if it's savable before I switch it. Well with this carburetor style it's a hundred percent important to make sure that tiny hole is cleaned out. It feeds the gas to the main jet. Now to blow it, whenever you blow it make sure you don't need to lose your needle if it's still in there. Now it's also good to blow into the fuel line too while the needle's down. Clear out the needle and seat. And blow this too. Now time to reinstall the bowl. Add a little oil to the stiff throttle shaft. and work it back and forth a bit. Now I just have to tighten these two screws. Well I have it tipped over and I'm working on it. I like to look for dents in the blade or bent blades, not just bent shafts. If I see dents in the blade that look recent, that may also mean that it has a broken flywheel key or a partially broken one. And then when I'm pulling that stupid handle, it'll just kick back and rip right out of my fingers and make me curse all day. So this blade looks in great condition, so I'm going to expect the flywheel key is fine. 
Well, since this motor had all that water problem in the carb that dried up, I'm going to take the spark plug out and check it, which I actually usually do anyways. Plug actually looks perfect. I think this one was just uh, left outside and got all its problems. It looks like it was working great last time it was running. Now time to check the oil. Oh, there's almost nothing visible. A good thing this thing didn't start because it would have fried the engine with no oil. It died just at the right time. Almost every lawnmower of any brand takes one half liter of oil if it's completely empty. After she's gassed up like now, take the air cleaner off, look down inside here. After you wait a couple minutes with the gas in it, you shouldn't see any liquid gas in there. If it is, that means your needle and seat's dirty or bad. This one looks dry. Of course, if you push the primer button a few times, then you might see some liquid gas in there. So, some fast jabs. And let's see what's going to happen. I think we could have a clogged carburetor. So I'll put a teaspoon of gas into where I showed you where the air cleaner goes. Primes it a little. So, take two. Well, she started and died, so that's telling me we probably have a plug carb. Little prime again. Ah, uh, that was a bit much gas. Might be flooded. Yeah, she's flooded. I can't find another carb in my massive pile of engines. I'll have to take that one apart one more time and see if I can fix it. Oh well, at least I know she's a good motor. And I probably have a bag for this one too.